What's going on guys? Play my play gaming here back with another Epic 7 video and today we're going over the update for February 25th starting off with the brand new 7 Sweethearts side story for Epic 7. This one looks pretty cool. It looks to be kind of like a choose your own adventure. Uh, we have three weeks of this side story. First week we have Yuna Pro Horizon Celine Judith. Uh, and uh, week two, we have bonus rounds as well as week three. It, it doesn't really say whose story that is. I'm thinking maybe uh, it'll just be an extension of those stories, Yuna, Celine, Yuna, Pro Horizon, Celine, Judith. But uh, I was taking a quick look through here and it looks like you can go different routes based on what you choose. So there are a couple of rounds. They're going to you're going to be able to reset them because the endings can change. You can get a good ending and a bad ending. Since uh, none of us have really played through this yet, we don't know what to expect, but there will be enhanced artifacts. There will be currency, uh, Violet Talisman, Alexa's Basket, and uh, Temperance Artifact are going to be the enhanced artifacts. So if you have those, uh, the Temperance one you can get by uh, just kind of running through the side story. And building up those uh, those tickets, you'll be able to purchase that. I think you can buy two from there, and it's probably the rest you're going to get as rewards from the side story. Uh, but it looks like they've added a way that we can use these uh, parameters. Uh, so if you've ever gone into the hero detail screen, you see that they have some type of uh, like politics, uh, charm, health, so on and so forth. And they have that there. And it looks like we're going to be able to use certain characters uh, to... Um, potentially get a bonus, I guess. Uh, it, it also looks like uh, we're gonna have those story stages. So we're gonna be able to kind of pick and choose uh, what our decisions are. And then based off of that, we'll get either a good ending or a bad ending. Uh, there are quite a bit of um, illustrations that we can unlock. So that's gonna be uh, really interesting as well as Lucy that we can definitely unlock her. But as you can see here, they're kind of showing us the parameters. Uh, we can kind of select a dialogue uh, so based on the parameters that we have or maybe that we build up uh, we'll be able to uh, see a different ending i think and as you can see here uh, you can farm those parameters so you can farm health charm uh, intelligence and then you're going to have to use these i think uh, for the decisions uh, at least that, that's what i'm getting from this uh, so maybe it won't be that uh, we use you know whatever character we want maybe we just farm whatever the parameters are <clears throat> and then uh, kind of continue through the story we'll be able to select the difficulty like always uh, for uh, either of those uh, of course the highest difficulty is going to give us the biggest amount of rewards uh, we'll be able to start a brand new game after we clear the first uh, like the first round of that uh, of that story and the new game will allow us to choose different options so if we get like the bad ending uh, we'll be able to run through it again and then try to get the good ending. Uh, it, it does mention that uh, we'll be able to unlock all the rewards regardless of what endings we get. So I think that's pretty cool. And it's uh, nice for those that uh, really like and enjoy the story. Uh, so there you go. We're going to be getting Lucy. You'll be able to buy her from the shop. I would recommend though you pick up the Temperance Artifact first. So that if you are farming the side story, it just makes it a lot easier. So as soon as you get those 290 tickets, go grab yourself one copy at least. And then as you get more tickets, buy the other uh, Temperance Artifact there. Uh, and Lucy is dropping along with this. You'll be able to buy her there from the shop. Uh, she does look pretty cool. I don't know if many people are going to use her. Uh, she's like a, a baby Cerise, right? She has like Restrict. Um, a lot of people have said that she's really good in, or she might be really good in the Cades or Katie's Hunt. Uh, I don't farm Katie's, uh, but maybe if you do, if you need an, another hero, that would potentially help you there. We're going to be getting the Rengar Club Festival Grounds pack. Uh, I always love those backgrounds. I like switching them out, uh, especially when they're themed, like the Valentine one and um, the um, Fairy Tale Tenebria one. And we'll be able to see all of the illustrations uh, one more time in the um, the side story section of our journal. So that's going to be pretty cool. There's also this two star monster. So it's kind of odd. Uh, he looks like. Um, like an ice cream type of uh, type of monster, but it's a chocolate slime, and it says that uh, this monster is a limited monster. So 
keep an eye out for that. I don't know if he'll have any kind of special abilities or anything like that. Maybe it's just for collection purposes. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely keep it, keep an eye out for that. So don't don't fodder him away. Uh, if you want to keep him, if you don't, then you know, do what you want. But uh, we have week three of the current side story. It's gonna continue the same. We're gonna be able to farm those jewels. If you have either guiding light or that golden cocoa cookie, you'll be able to keep farming. Uh, and anything that you don't use for those albums, you can come in and uh, spend them on this gold currency. I know I'll definitely come in here and use these uh, because I kept farming way past what I needed to on some of them. Uh, we're getting the drop rate up for two characters, Kron, Alexa's Basket with Pavel and D Dus Noctis, right? I think that's how you say it. So we're getting those two. Are these two must pulls? No, I, I think that uh, these two heroes, uh, you can definitely get away with not having. However, if they are husbando to you, then maybe you might want to pull one. I know I wanted Kron for the longest time and I pulled him off of the, uh, I think like one of the four to five star tickets or something like that. But uh, Alexa's basket is very, very strong. So I know some people might be pulling for Alexa's basket. Uh, another way to potentially get Alexa's basket is currently uh, through the mystic rotation. I think it's, um, it's, I forgot who the five star is, but the five star artifact is Alexa's basket. Uh, so you can definitely try your luck there or here if you need extra K-Rons. K-Ron imprints are pretty nice. Uh, Pavel, again, it, it's he's a hero that definitely needs really good gear. Uh, same thing with K-Ron. A lot of people are building like counter K-Rons uh, right now. I think that's his, um, his usual build. Uh, Pavel, as much speed as possible with as much damage as possible. So he's kind of like taking over uh, right now for uh, for heroes that don't have uh, the uh, non-attack skill, right? He, he attacks on every turn and with his new exclusive equipment where he gives himself like a skill nullifier uh, and or he gives someone else on the team an attack buff, it can be pretty, pretty awesome. So along with that, we're getting the rotation to the coin shop. Arterer Vildred is here. He RV is in the rotation. He's competing against Arch Demon Shadow. I don't. That's that's that kind of sucks, right? Um, more than likely, if you have forty coins, you're gonna go for an Arbiter Vildred. Uh, or, I mean, if I guess if you really like Arch Demon Shadow, you might take a shot at her. But uh, forty coins is a lot. Forty coins is a lot. I know a lot of people still don't have RB, so they're gonna be picking up themselves an RB. Sigrid and Balan Sazan are in the RGB coin shop. Uh, other than that, uh, they are switching the Ice Elemental Expedition boss back to the Earth Elemental, so that means that we're gonna have to farm Golem Expeditions, which uh, which is not good because uh, I don't do Golem, right? I really like the current rotation. I wish they would have just kept it that way, but um, I mean, eventually they were gonna switch it up, but. Uh, other than that, we do have one more thing, free on equip event. So make sure that you take advantage. If you have some heroes, I know a lot of people farm during that buff event. Uh, make sure that you use this time to re-gear your heroes uh, so you don't spend all of that gold. But that's gonna be the end of the video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the two drop rate up heroes. Are you going to be pulling for them? Are you interested in finding out what uh, what this side story is all about? Um, having those options is pretty cool. I know they kind of did that here in uh, this uh, Sweethearts uh, Festival one. So it's, it's kind of interesting to see them incorporate those charms. Uh, politics uh, all of that uh, but like always if you haven't enjoyed the video hit that like button if you haven't subscribed hey think about subscribing it really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this like always thanks for watching i'll see you next time